Right guys, so welcome back to episode 2 of my Napoli career mode. Hopefully you guys did enjoy episode 1. I'm back today with another episode. Uh, and in the last episode, we finished on the West Ham game. So we're going to go straight away now and sim this game. We need to fix a problem with our team. What is wrong with it? Um, it looks as if... Yes, yeah, Strenich is injured. That is the problem we do have. Strenich is injured. We'll put the... Uh, I can't even speak. We'll put the Griezmann, sorry, on the bench. Um, and we'll save those changes. Right, so let's go into this game, guys. We're going to be simming it. We are at home... Um, well, we're not, technically we're not at home because it is in Chile, but hopefully we win it. Yes, we have won this one as well. Gabby Adini, Callion, and Mertens getting the goals. I believe that's Gabby Adini's first this season, but it's, I think it's Callion's third and Mertens' fourth. Payet did also get injured for them. They did score with Coyote, but a really good result for us. Um, we get quite a few yellow cards though. Mertens, El Kaduri, and Hissage. That will be El Kaduri's last game, I believe, for the club. Um, and it is sad to see him go. But hopefully we'll be picking up another centre midfielder uh, who looks like a really, really good prospect. Right, so we've got another 3.1 million from that tournament. It must be the higher you go in the tournament, the more you get. Um, but we've got a press conference. This is for against Sporting. We're going to praise the team. We're going to praise Napoli as they did put a really good four performances in the run-up to the final. And hopefully we can win this final. Right, so there you go, guys. Dries Mertens has went to Valencia for 28 million. We've been allocated 24 million to our current transfer budget. Uh, so we've got a lot from that. A counter-offer has been received from um, Korea. What does he want? He wants 80... How much was it? 80,000. He doesn't want the goal bonus which is kind of weird um, and he wants five years so no goal bonus eighty thousand and five years we'll put that in hopefully he will sign for us now 10.5 million they want it for ecstasy i still can't say his name we're gonna put on 8.5 million for him as he is really young um and it looks like a really good prospect for the future right so here we go guys we have got sporting next in the cup Hopefully we can win this pre-season tournament because uh, we'll get a lot more. I think it's close to four more uh, million we will get. I just noticed we did just sell Merton, so that means that we can't actually play him up front anymore. We're going to have to put the Guzman in the squad and we're going to have to put... Um, who should we put up front? Let's put Gabby Adini up front and play the Guzman in centre mid. It would have been good if we could have got Korea in for this game, but we haven't signed him in time, so he can't play for this match. Forgot to put Higuain on the reserves again. Right, so here we go, guys, into the final of this pre-season tournament. Sporting Lisbon, we are up against. We are in the final. We are at home as well. Hopefully, we can win it. Bam! Yes, we win it 1-0. It is Insigne getting the goal as well. We did, in fact, um, start him in that left-wing position. I was thinking of... of, of, of I, know, I can't even speak. We are thinking of putting him up front, sorry. Um, but we decided to keep him in that position, and it turns out to be an incredible good decision. Right, transfer offer accepted. 8.5 million. They wanted 10.5. We'll somehow got 8.5 off of them. Uh, we're going to put 5 years, 45,000, hopefully, accepts accept however you say his name, can accept it. So there we go, guys. Another 3.9 million has been allocated to us. I don't know if we'll get that in our um, actual budget or if the board will take it. I'm not too sure about that yet, but hopefully we can get at least some of it. There we go. So he has sold for 15 million El Caduri to Watford. We've got 12.5 million of that. Um, which is pretty decent. Jonathan the Guzman, about Merton's spots, spot. Boss, I think I'd make a rather great replacement for Merton's vacant position. I hope he give me the chance. I did give him the chance in the final, um, so I'm pretty sure I got that message before the final. Contract offer declined. Um, right, so he does want 80 million. You know what? He wanted 80,000. Let's give him 85,000. We've got a lot of uh, wage. We'll give him 5% and also 5 years. Um, so yeah, hopefully he'll accept that. Right, so Accept State has uh, actually accepted the contract. We're going to add him into the team now, guys. If we did stall, we'd have 73 million euros. But we're going to go down to 64 by buying him. Really good uh, piece of business. He is only 21 years old. He has a cam. And he does look like a really, really good signing for the squad. Right, so we're going to do the player development as well. I actually forgot to do that. So we need to go back and do this. Um, we're going to do Accept Stay there. We're going to give him Keep Possession. We're also going to do him again. We're going to give him three just so he can get upgraded quite a bit. We'll do timing the pass. And finally for him, um, we'll give him that one. Chance creation. That's the only one that's letting us give him. Right, so Cooley Valley, we'll give him another one. Uh, we'll give him one on two defending. And then we'll give Insigne one. Beat your man. Right, we're going to simulate all of them. Hopefully we can get some good ratings. We do get D-A-A-C-C. That is very, very good for Axtex. they getting two A's and um, will increase him quite a lot. Hopefully he can get up to 75 rated soon and become a kind of goal player, even though it's not really the ultimate team guidelines. They got a D, A, A, C, C, so not too bad in that week's training. We'll come back next week and hopefully 
um, we can upgrade some more players. Right, so Korea has accepted our contract. That'll take us down to 45 million if we do buy him. We've still got 45 million to spend if we wanted this transfer window. I'm not going to spend all of it. I might spend another 10, 20 million. Um, but we're not going to probably buy anybody as big as Korea. Transfer offer for Jose Cali on 20 million. Not a chance. He is 28 years old. You can have him for 30, 35. <laughs> Let's go for 35. If they accept him for 35, I'll be very surprised. But... If they want them, they'll have to pay that much. It worked last time for Merton, so you never know. But I think we might have put that a bit high. I don't think they'll accept 35 million. Right, so we're going to train Korea now. Um, as he does need quite a lot of training because he is only 77 rated. So we'll try and get him up as fast as we can. Give him sharpshooter. Beat your man. Right, well, what else will we give him? We'll give him one more. Headers and volleys. Agstexi will give keep possession. And finally, Insigne, we are going to give beat uh, dribble course. Let's give him dribble course. Let's simulate all. Hopefully we can get a few good um, ratings again. We do get B, C, B, D, A. So that is really, really, really good. Korea getting a B, a C and a B. So he'll get hopefully upgraded pretty soon. Uh, Extex are getting a D, which isn't the best, but it's not too bad. And of course, Insigne doing really well getting an A on the dribble course. An update from France. We're not going to really look at that. And also a transfer offer for Hamseek. 33.5 million. Oh snap, 33.5 million. I'm going to put that up for 39.5 million. If they want Hamseek, I will happily give them to them for 39.5 million. Well, that's awkward because I just kind of said that they can have them. 24.5 million for Kalyon. You have to do at least 28. 28.5 million, you can have them. Right, so yet again, guys, we're going to be doing another training. It goes so quick um, when you're not playing games. We're going to go, tr um, we're going to keep... Dribble course on Korea. We're also going to give him distant shooting. And Senior can get beat your man. And we're going to give Alan a chance. We're going to give him one on one defending. Finally, we're going to actually do a goalkeeper. Let's get, in fact, let's not. Let's do a, let's do a left back. Um, his Saj, only 21 years of age. He needs a lot of um, a lot of work done. And we'll give him speed dribbling. Simulate all again. We're hoping to get at least one A again. Can we get at least one A? Yes, we get two A's. We get two is that is really good dribble course Korea did really well on that also did really well on distance shooting beat your man again Insigne gets another A um, on his drill uh, we got Alan with a B which isn't too bad and Hassage with an A as well which is really really good anyway guys that's going to be the end to episode 2 of my Napoli career mode hopefully you guys have enjoyed it this has probably been quite a long episode we've not played a lot of games I think we've only played the West Ham game uh, and the Sporting Lisbon game but in the next episode the league should be starting we'll probably get the first game out of the way and hopefully win that I'm not too sure if that will be in the third or the fourth episode of the first game but it'll be on one of them and well, I'll be playing one or two games per episode and I'll be showing you the highlights with live commentary and hopefully you guys will enjoy that smash the like button if you have enjoyed the video 15 likes in the video would be insane subscribe as well guys if you're new to the channel and apart from that I will see you guys next time